Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about states of matter. While you're listening today, I'd like you to focus on these questions here. What are the five states of matter that exist that scientists currently know about and what properties of atoms make matter different? I want to start with a real basic drawing. Let's say I'm in a place where I've got a table. Okay, here's my real wonderful looking table here. And on my table, I have a couple of objects. First of all, um, over here, I have a lamp. And let's just make this kind of an open lamp, just so it's easy to see. It's got one of those curly looking light bulbs in there. And then over here, I've got a bottle of water. It doesn't look much like a bottle of water, but we can maybe use our imagination a little bit. Let's make this last part our water. There we go. Okay, so first of all, uh, on our table, if this is a table and it's made out of metal, we want to look for the small little parts that make up this table. So we need to zoom in on this table as much as we possibly can. And like I said, this is a metal table. Let's say it's made of something called aluminum. Okay. And if we keep moving in, if we keep zooming in on this table, zoom, zoom right in there, uh, eventually we're going to get to a point where we see each little part that makes up the table. Now, if we look at these parts, we can see that they often have this little circular shape, but that's what you're often going to see. But if we zoom in on that a little bit, um, that little part there is going to have a middle part and it's gonna have some little dots that kind of fly around the outside. Um, this thing here is what we refer to as an atom. Okay, atoms are the smallest little building blocks that make up different things. And if we look at these atoms, they're usually lined up in a very tight manner. And the reason uh, solids have this certain structure and they're very distinct structure is because the atoms that make up that solid are very tightly packed together. Um, so that would be something of a solid. Okay, so our aluminum table is what we call a solid. Then if we go up here, if we look at our bottle of water, this wonderful looking bottle of water, same thing can happen. If we look in here, if we zoom in on this little section here, uh, we're going to look at one part, and that part is actually going to be a little bit different. This is made up of a combination of these little pieces that are locked together. Um, to make this simple, I'm just going to kind of draw them. Now these, these in here are not necessarily lined up in any fancy way. Notice they fit the shape of the container, and each of these has the ability to move around. That means we're looking at a liquid. Okay. Also, if we look inside our bottle, notice this bottle, let's say it's got the cap on the bottle still, and we drank some, and there's all this empty space up here. Now, it looks empty, but there's actually something going on there. Um, if we could zoom in on this, we would actually find that there are lots of particles up here. But notice they're spaced far apart, and they're actually moving all around in here. They're bouncing, and they're moving very quickly. And if we looked at this area up here, you can see that we have these two atoms joined together here, and when we have two atoms joined together, we call that a molecule. Now, in this space up here, we have our third type of matter, which is a gas. And if you notice the properties of that gas, the particles are spaced apart, they move in any different direction, and they fill the space that's available to them. Now, over here, oh, there's that curly structure we looked at before. Here's our lamp. And inside of this light bulb, we have a unique type of matter that we don't often talk about. So let's zoom in on that part. And in this area, we have different kinds of particles that are negatively charged or positively charged. And if we look at it, they're actually a lot like a gas. They move around very quickly and uh, they'll fill up the space, but they have a different charge to them. Um, and these particles or these atoms can become what we call ions, which we'll talk about later.
But this type of matter here that we'll talk about is called plasma. That's our fourth type of matter. So if we zoom back out on this, we can see in our picture now that we have uh, four different types of matters indicated here. Now the last one is a bit difficult to show, so we'll just mention the name of it in a minute. We have our plasmas, we have our gas, we have our liquid, and we have our solid. So notice again, if we take a look at the structure, this is what makes uh, these different states of matter. The solid particles are packed tightly together, they give real rigid shapes. The liquid particles are spaced out a little bit more and they have the ability to move around each other. The gas particles are spaced even further apart and they can move even more. And then in the lamp, um, in the light bulb, we have something called plasma, which are charged particles and they can move around the most. Now the last thing we need to look at are some basic definitions of these states of matter, including the fifth state of matter. Now you can pause the video and go through and read these, so I'm not going to read them all in detail to you. But the thing I do want to mention about these five states of matter, including our new one, the Bose-Einstein condensate, um, which I'll mention briefly. The Bose-Einstein condensate, as it says, is a low energy particle occurring at a nearly absolute zero temperature. For our purpose, we can say that's extremely cold. Where the particles clump together in the same space and lose distinct properties. Scientifically speaking, uh, this has only been done with a few different types of elements. And the properties of these elements, uh, they lose their distinct properties, which means they look like just one um, glob or one blob of something. The thing that I want to point out though is right here, the energy of the atoms or the molecules, what I've been calling particles. In different states of matter, we have higher energy and it flows down to a lower energy. Now oftentimes we talk about the energy is what makes these different. So plasma is a high energy particle and then if we go down lower energy, gas is a high energy particle and then liquid is a little lower, solid is a little lower and the Bose-Einstein condensate is the lowest energy particle that we found. Anyway, if you get into this even further, I recently talked to a particle physicist who says there might even be a sixth type of matter, but you'll have to keep your eyes open on the news for that thing to appear. Anyway, I hope you learned something new today. Again, go back to the video and rewatch it if you have any more questions. Hopefully that'll help you out. Thanks for tuning in.